piece on uh, this Volkswagen transaxle that I took out of the bug and just do a little uh, visual comparison of the uh, external features of these two transaxles. This one here is the Beetle transaxle and the one back here is the bus transaxle. So um, you can tell that the, the bus transaxles got a much bigger case and uh, uses bigger CV joints. There's two sides of CV joints. There's these smaller ones and then those are just a little bit bigger and those are the same CV joints that my Porsche had in it. But anyway, um, the shift tower The shift tower on the bus transaxle is quite a bit higher in the casing than the beetle transaxle is. And that becomes a problem when you try to put a bus transaxle into a bug. There's a fair bit of work that has to be done to accomplish that. It also has a bit of a square shape to the, to the um, case as opposed to that kind of looks like a looks like a lobster tail this looks like a big lobster tail For, uh, this one here is going to go back to uh, Rancho to be refurbished and rebuilt and uh, resold so yeah I gotta drop it off on the way out to the west coast and this one is going to go back into my shed and I'm going to save it in case I need it for my dune buggy maybe anyways you can tell they both transaxles have a different shape to the case this one is more of an oval shaped oblong or whatever and the bus transaxle is rather even rare. when you uh, much inside the bell housing they're basically both the same now this is a, this is an old style for an old style throw up bearing and this is a new style the new style has a different throw-out bearing um, mount and also uses that on the input shaft and the old one, the old style doesn't, doesn't have that sleeve on it. Anyways, These um, bus transaxles are, are much better for some any kind of severe off-road route, uh, severe off-road running you're going to do, such as in a dune buggy. And this dune buggy, it's, it's got a Type 4 motor in it, 1700 cc, and bus transaxle to back it up and um, I believe the gear ratio the final drive ring and pinion in this I think is a 5.37 and the beetle I believe is a 412 now the new ring and pinion in the new transaxle that's in the beetle is a uh, 437 gear gives it a little bit easier to, to uh, makes it a little bit easier to, to pull away with it uh, with those big tires on it well I had to order a new throw up bearing and pressure plate because the uh, the ones that are on the other for the other transmission won't work with the new transmission so uh, 
Anyways, I ordered these on Friday and they arrived on Monday, so that was pretty quick service from our friends at AVR in Vancouver. Anyways, um, the difference with this originates in in this uh, release arm here, and you can see this this transmission does not have. Uh, this this sleeve on it whereas this one does and you can see that the uh, the arm is different the way that the uh, throw up bearing fits into it and so anyways I got I got a brand new uh, clutch pressure plate and uh, throw up bearing for it which is uh, uh, I, I didn't expect to have to do that because this clutch and pressure plate has not been in hasn't really uh, got a lot of miles on it as you can see it uh, still looks looks like new because it is another difference is is uh, this clutch has got this this uh, ring in it here, and although I haven't opened the box up and looked at the new one yet, but apparently the new one doesn't have that. So, anyways, once I get it up, uh, opened up, and uh, I'll show you the difference. Okay, you can see that this new pressure plate does not have that big metal uh, ring on the fingers here. That ring is not on the new one and here's the different throw up bearings this is the old style here and it has separate clips and uh, that would be the part number for the old style and here's the new one you can see there's a Quite a bit of difference between the, the way they mount, and this one has the clips built into it, and there's the part number for that one. If you just if you want to know, if you need it, and so we'll go ahead and we'll install this new uh, throw up bearing into the new transmission, and. Uh, I think I'm going to pack up the uh, the old clutch pressure plate and uh, throw out bearing and uh, store it away somewhere because I'm not sure, but it might be uh, the same as the one that's in the dune buggy. But uh, I'm not going to tear the dune buggy apart to find out, but I'll just keep them on hand here. Uh, at worst, I could always uh, put them up for sale cheap. Somebody can get a nice cheap uh, clutch and pressure plate. Anyways, that's all I got for you right now. This transaxle is on its way back to get reused.